Story 1, Married for 6 Months and Considering Divorce My wife and I are in our early 20s. We dated for 2.5 years and got married this last July. Our dating relationship was really good, but since we got married it has gone downhill extraordinarily fast. I come from a really great family. My parents love one another and show each other affection. My dad is hardworking, and my mom is honest and caring. They show love to me and my brother and really prepared us for adulthood. They were really good at providing us autonomy while still explaining their expectations as we grew up. They aren't perfect, but I could not have asked for better parents. My wife comes from the opposite family. She was one of six siblings. Her parents constantly yell at one another. Her father is demanding and a bad role model. Her mother takes out her marital issues on the children, yelling at her kids instead of her husband. Her parents were unaffectionate with their kids and never acknowledged their emotions. When my wife was upset as a teen, she was just told to stop overreacting. She is a victim of childhood emotional neglect. Now that you have some family background we can dive into the rest. After our marriage in July, things have changed. We used to be affectionate, and she used to want me. Now she pushes me away and denies my bids for attention 90% of the time. She no longer wants to hold hands, kiss, or be physically close at all. Our sex life has been almost non-existent, often going four to six weeks between being intimate. She yells at me anytime she isn't in a perfectly good mood. Instead of redirecting her emotions or checking in, she takes them out on me. I don't think she ever learned proper emotional regulation from her parents. While I describe her as beautiful, the word she uses to describe me most is annoying. I have expressed how hurtful this is, but she refuses to stop. A few times she has yelled at me for literally being too nice for her. In her words she describes that she misses fighting with her parents and can't stand someone not being mean to her. I have no idea how to respond to these requests. It really just solidifies the fact that she had an abusive family and is not emotionally prepared for marriage. We have a dog and cat that she continuously shows more love and kindness to than she does to me. And every time I bring this up, she gets defensive and acts like I'm the bad guy. All of this sucks. But the worst part is that she is unwilling to talk about these things that are ruining our marriage. I have asked her to go to marriage counseling with me multiple times. Finally, about a week ago she agreed to go to marriage counseling when I wrote her a letter saying it was counseling or divorce. We actually talked about our relationship and how we were both unhappy. For once it felt hopeful. I have reached out to my personal therapist for a referral to a marriage counselor. He gave us a referral, and I found a few other options, but my wife is dragging her feet. She also only wants to go once a month, when realistically we need much more than that. I'm tired of feeling neglected and like a prisoner in my own home. I'm tired of being the victim of her unwillingness to take care of her mental health. I recognize that her mental health plays a huge reason for all of this, but I am tired of being the one she lashes out at when she refuses to get help. Tonight, I want to tell her we need to pick a marriage counselor now, and plan to go at least every other week. She needs to know this is a non-negotiation for me. It's this or I'm gone. I'm struggling to find other options on how to handle this. I do however know that I'm not in the wrong with my decisions. It feels right to stand up for myself. I can't let my marriage be the worst part of my life forever. Comment 1, sounds like you have a handle on what it is going to take to turn this relationship around. Schedule the counseling sessions and every time the day comes, and she doesn't want to go ask her if she wants to save your marriage. Go to sessions on your own if she doesn't come. It won't take long for you to see if there is any hope or not. Comment 2, you are on the right track. But keep in mind unless she is 100% on board and willing to do individual as well as marriage counseling and willing to work on making things better this is going to fail. That is the talk. Nor is she willing to half-ass and technically go just to get you off her back, but is she willing to put in the work? If not call it a day and be glad the marriage was short and do some individual therapy to deep dive into this relationship.
It's very rare for a complete 180, there were likely some red flags you missed. Story 2, Get It To Me Straight My husband had an affair. Together 13 years, married for 6 years. Last time he cheated was before we got married. I figured we were young and immature. Fast forward a good decade or so, and here we are again, only this time worse. The past year or two he's had anxiety slash panic attacks. Going to therapy, but barely putting in any work. The past six months or so he grew increasingly distant and obsessed with an online role-playing video game, GTA. He would spend maybe an hour or two with me, and then six to eight hours on the game each day. And every time he was with me, he wasn't really with me because he was constantly on his phone. We talked about how he may be using the video game as an escape from reality. I begged him to open up to me, let me be there for him. Told him I missed him and that he felt distant. That I didn't feel wanted and felt like a burden. Every time we were together it was like he was putting in the time because I am his obligation, but then he could go do what he really wanted. He would either give me the run around or act annoyed and tell me, I'm prying at him. I told him I was in pain and felt afraid of losing him. Out of nowhere last week he started crying randomly and telling me he's a bad person because he's been having thoughts of escaping his life. Felt it was related to his mental health and anxiety. I held him, told him I loved him, supported him. I really thought this was where we would turn it around. It was the first time in a long time that I saw what I thought was genuine vulnerability. Then after that, he went cold and distant again. Turns out he's been having an affair with someone he met in the game. They'd been talking for about two months. And in the chats, he told her he loved her, lied about the state of our marriage saying that we are basically roommates, pondered divorcing me, but said he was afraid their relationship wouldn't make it or that he couldn't do any better than me. He had chem sex with her, exchanged naked pictures. She tried to tell him what they were doing was wrong and he kept pushing for a relationship with her. He traveled for work recently and tried to meet her in person behind my back, but she said no. I only found out because he forgot to log out of Discord when he borrowed my laptop. When confronted about it, he omitted a lot of shit because he wasn't sure how much I knew or how I found out. Said only she sent him nudes, for example. He is half taking responsibility and half blaming everything on his mental health. Said he lied to her and wanted an escape from his life. I believe that's probably how it started out with the video game, so another partial truth. He tells me he wants to go to marriage counseling, keeps asking if I'll go. He's told me he loves me and wants to make it work. But based on what he said when he thought I wasn't looking, it feels like he's lying. I am completely broken. Unfortunately, I still loved him despite the distance that was creeping in. So, this is incredibly painful for me, and I was completely blindsided by everything. I feel slimy saying this, but I still love him. Part of me wants to make it work, but I want the marriage I thought I had. I don't see how this moves forward without permanent trust issues. I know people can work it out after infidelity, but this is really severe. Advice please. Give it to me straight. Comment 1. I know this is just one side of the story, but it doesn't sound like this guy has any redeeming qualities. 6 to 8 hours of gaming a day? Pushing for a relationship with someone else? He just sounds like a completely inconsiderate asshole that doesn't respect you. Do you have kids? Let's just say my wife would have dumped my ass in a heartbeat at the part where I checked out from the relationship and started playing games all day to ignore her. Comment 2. If she had have met up with him when he went out of his way to meet her, I don't think he would have come clean and he may have left you for her or got tangled up with her. Is he only sorry because he knows it isn't going to work there now and is riddled with panic he will be caught and left with nothing? Comment 3. Now that you are facing this reality, again, you have some choices to make, again. Both roads will be difficult, it sounds like you've already traveled the reconciliation path and ended back where you started. He's cheated prior to marriage, you still married him. He cheated during marriage, now you're reaching out to Reddit, wondering what to do. You've trained him that you will tolerate this behavior. It's not your fault he cheated, that is 100% on him, 
but marrying him after he already cheated gave him enough room mentally to justify his actions internally. If you take him back, again, that will be further entrenched in his lying-ass brain. Story 3 I don't know how to feel about this. I'm 36 female, I've been married about 11 years. About one month ago, I found out that after 1.5 years into us dating slash living together, my husband had a fling with a co-worker. It started with us all hanging out, and I sensed something weird so didn't want to hang out with her anymore. It led to arguments, and one night, after a really bad fight, he packed a bag and said he was going to his cousin's. We ended up breaking up. He actually was at the co-worker's apartment, and they had an ongoing sexual relationship. Again, he hid this for like 13 years even though he denied it over and over when I asked. He told me Jen, we had a really long discussion where he told me all the details and we've been working extensively in therapy. He swears up and down that it meant nothing. Yesterday we went to Zales because I needed my prongs replaced on my engagement ring, but I could not find the paperwork. They looked it up in the system and as a courtesy reprinted a bunch of stuff for us, including my husband's purchase history. I looked at it and it was all stuff for me that I recognized except for during the time we were broken up, a necklace. It was for the co-worker that he had a meaningless sexual relationship with. The worst part is that the purchase date was five days before my birthday. We had already made amends and were seeing each other again. He took me out for my birthday that year, we had sex at his apartment, and he told me how much he missed me blah blah blah. Essentially, he was still buying gifts for her when he had reconciled with me. The timeline didn't match up to anything he had previously confessed. I tried really, really hard not to get upset since we were in a public place, waited until we were in the car and calmly told him what the issue was. He blew up on me and has been extremely mean, telling me it's my issue that I don't believe his timeline, I know my birthday and there is now a physical receipt that illustrates the nature of their relationship. No one drops a few hundred bucks on a booty call, especially my husband. In the pit of my stomach, I think this relationship was deeper and longer than he indicated. We were split for about eight months and then I moved back in with him to take care of him after a bad car wreck where he broke his hip. I am starting to wonder if that's when he actually ended things with the other woman. Looking back, there were multiple times in that eight months after we were dating again where he either did not want to see me or would rush me out of his apartment for unexplained reasons. Things are becoming clearer. For the last few weeks, I've wondered why he waited too long to tell me about his relationship with her, and I'm thinking now it's because she's dead, died from COVID a few months ago, and so it's kind of impossible for me to verify the seriousness of their relationship. He's in the mindset of it happening so long ago that it doesn't mean anything. He's angry that an apology isn't enough for me. To me it's fresh, I feel betrayed. I feel like I probably wouldn't have continued the relationship much less have married him. Am I being unreasonable? Is it wrong for me to feel so much hurt over a lie that is so old? I'm so torn. I believed that truth and loyalty were at the core of his person, and I always trusted him, and now all these little pieces and revelations are making me doubt everything. Comment 1. If I were in your shoes, I wouldn't be able to ever trust him again. Sure, it might have happened a long time ago, but what's to say it wouldn't happen again? Comment 2. It was 13 years ago for him, it's only the day after yesterday for you. It's raw and hurts. He needs to do everything in his power to give you comfort and understanding and space if you need it. You on the other hand, would do well to give him grace to make it right to you.